Hey folks, welcome back to Loft. Had a little scare when I went to start this episode too. It started me back at the very beginning of the demo. I was like, whoa, what? Sunken Land and this game both start off by having you choose the character and then choose the the, the map. And I've got a previous save going where I first started playing the game myself to see if I wanted to make a series out of it. So I had chosen this new... No, it defaulted to my previous character when I chose this map. That character had never been on this map before, so it started me at the very beginning. Then I shut down and restarted, got back to this character and this map, and here I am. Although it starts you at the very edge, teetering, ready to fall off somewhere. It doesn't start you where you saved. So there must be a save point on each island, and that's the, the pixel where you begin. Anyway, I went through the settings a little bit, kind of look things around. There is a third person. I just saw my, my campfire over here. There is a third person view if you want to use it. I have not, I guess it's similar to flying. So. And I think when you drive your island, you might be third person too. Not sure about that. Um, what was the other thing that I noticed when I was in there? Um, there is an auto mode for using your tools. So rather than trying to hit that sweet spot, I think there's a, one that does it automatically for you. Though, of course, I like the challenge. Um... Anyway, there's, there's quite a few different settings to choose from. I just realized as I was editing last episode, the 64 FPS in the top corner up there. I hadn't seen that once in all the hours that I played. I'd never noticed that corner. I noticed the alpha, or pre-alpha, 1.34. But, yeah, enough talking. Let's build something. So, I want, let's see. Here's our build menu. And again, you get to choose what kind you want them to be. So I don't know what that is. Is it truly... I guess it's just hollow. So there's no floor that goes on there. Um, a floor costs one, and the hollow costs one. So it's the same amount of wood. Um, making skinnier pathways. Higher, lower. Interesting. Lower, hollow. We started here, even taller. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to start here. And I think I'm going to span this guy. It doesn't seem to worry too much about um, support underneath. So really, it just becomes an aesthetic thing. Um, let's see here. Let's rotate you around. How should we aim this guy? So we slam into this guy here? Let's slam in... At what point? If we take this rock out... Let's come in at about... That level right there. Okay. Let's get rid of this rock. And maybe this is auto tools. I don't know. I don't know. I have it off. You know, this automatically selects the pickaxe, for instance. But I'm not sure what the auto tools is. Um, put you away. I did that because I wanted to see where this guy actually hits. That's what I'm doing. I'm crouched. Build you. And you've got different versions of auto placement. R changes your snap mode. This guy is auto. This is manual so that you've got multiple points and you can hit halfway points. Again, sunken land. Please take note. This is wonderful. So you get to choose things like this. So I still don't see a way to move your elevation. So I couldn't... Well, I, I guess I could just go to manual mode. And then just set this guy up a little... No, I can't make it come any closer. So I can't quite hit that corner to make it go up halfway. But you can disable it completely. Um, go back to auto. As soon as you touch the side of this with your little dot, it will attach. So we'll touch that, and you go there. And that is still... You have to jump to get on that. Can I go one more? I can. And that one I can just walk up onto. Okay. 
So if I were to do this, I'm a little leery about walking out on this guy, but I'm pretty sure it can do it. <laughs> and right into the side of the hill there. Okay. So let's set a whole bunch of blueprints. Um, can we snap there? We can. So you've got to touch that wood with it. Do that. Then you can touch that one, and there you go, right into there. Okay. So let's span this guy. Where am I? Right there. With five or six rows, using part of it as a walkway, part of it as the building. I don't know if I need to get into... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. We'll go to a run out of wood. We'll go chop a bunch of trees and build ourselves a base. Maybe next episode we'll look at flying this island. Right there. Do I go one more? What does it take to move around this area? Okay, we have easy access here. Though, I wonder if I can sink stairs into there. Just so I don't have to jump every time we get to it. This area, I can step up on it easily. This area, we come up over here. So I can still get one more row in there. Right there. And... Here I go into those bushes. Where am I? Right there? Sure, let's do that. Alright, there. I'm thinking two rows wide as a bridge. That might be a little ambitious. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Escape. I was thinking this guy would be the walkway up, but this, that doesn't work that well. I don't want it to be in the middle, unless I'm building a covered bridge. <laughs> um, maybe the walkway is actually over on this side, in which case I can go one more row this way. Yeah, and then I'll staircase down. Of course, the angle may be the same rate as the staircase. Uh, what do we have left in wood? We have another 72. We're fine. It's not enough to build them, but it's enough to lay all of the blueprints out. So, B grab you, and you're still the original one. I don't need to have a variant of it. So, like so, we'll fire these guys across. Let's see, if we walk on this one, we can do that and not die. Of course, there's no, there's no fall damage hitting a hill. I don't know what kind of, what happens to you if you fall off the island and keep falling. I have a feeling there's a death there. All right, so from this end over here, do we stare down, or do we get rid of this guy and stare down? Don't know. Um, get rid of you. Build stairs. All right, you drop into there nicely. So what are our variations? That's kind of nice. And you are a much bigger one. So that one will span from one floor to another. You can create multi-floored buildings. And there's a half stair. And so if you're offsetting things by half of a block, where'd the sun go? Apparently the sun is back behind there. Is that the sun? I thought that was the moon. I guess he's behind the clouds. Okay, run over to this guy. Drop him in. Okay. So that gets us down here easy enough. Back up. And running down over here. And we hit. Let's put a staircase. Although, this is it over here. And this is going to be building. Let's leave that as building. Okay. Eventually you'll see what it is I'm trying to create here. Um, I don't know how to go from here to there smoothly. This might require a little bit of trial and error. Build. Let's stare. Uh, rotate is... It is E and Q. Okay. F? No. I thought there was a way I could snap it. E rotate. Is it shift? No. Oh, when it's not touching something? When it's not touching something, it snaps around easily. Okay. So if I put you there and you there, actually that works pretty good. No, nope, there's a hole here. 
So I want a floor there. How do I get a floor? Uh, not you. Build. To transition well into that. It goes this way. So if I put you there, could I snap another one down there? Now the stairs are in the way now. Hmm. Well, let's try. I'll show you, like I mentioned last time, but let's actually do it. Hold down the right mouse button. That turns red. So left mouse button, click it while you're holding the other one down, and that deletes it. That down there, hold that to destroy. Doesn't really make that clear enough. But now I can? Yeah. Now I can drop you into there. Now that the top stair is out of the way. Now if I were to destroy this one, and then B, U, and for that matter, let's go over to there. I should be able to transition into that now. Too bad I can't have a railing on one side only. Hmm. But if we do that, now I can go up and I can go down. Alright, that works good. So, I had to finagle that a little bit. So, this time, I should be able to delete you and build another of these attached to that one and then build another of these next variant right there and that gets me up nicely okay and eventually we're going to have a railing of some kind on here so we can't fall off that it's going to get dark soon and as far as i know i don't have a way to make lights that's a shame um hammer first time we've had to use that finishes the construction like so. Uses the wood that's in your inventory. I have 54 logs left. And that builds the top layer of these. Now, if you time it right, it builds more than just the one you're working on. There, 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 there. Look at that. It just keeps adding to you. That's cool. So, benefit for paying attention to detail. Is it still building further out around? I think it is. So it's just a bigger and bigger radius. So let's try that here. 22 wood left. Okay, that did all that. So tap, tap. Over here. Oh, missed that one. Oh, there is one more in there too. And there. Let's see, out of wood. Okay. So, where will the bed eventually be if I were to just drop it down right now? I think that's the view from the bedroom. So, let's put the bed... Hmm. I'm not sure if I can put a wall through that or not. And I can't really move the bed. And I need a log to make the bed. Okay. So, we just need to go chop some trees. I think you guys can see this well enough to uh, still be able to enjoy the video. Oh, a little fancy axe work there. Yeah, logs just fly all over the place. <laughs> um, gather what? Potatoes. I didn't even see these yesterday. We got potatoes in here. Okay, you. There it is. All right, can I make a bed just so that I can get back to daylight? Uh, build saw blade bed just because so bedroom let's assume that we're not going to be able to get back into there and into there with a wall um, do I turn it the other way though not manual leave it on automatic E there we go so that we're facing outward don't know I'm not sure. Love to be able to have some kind of a skylight over the top. Wake up looking up at the at the bright sunny day or something. But for now, let's set you as home. Important thing to remember to do. And let's go to sleep. So actually we're kind of looking forward. Oh no, I can adjust my sight. There we go. So 
if we turned it, we can be looking out a window. Mm-hmm. Now, where do I land if I hit jump? Do I fall off? Almost. <laughs> okay, so let's go do a bunch of chopping. And actually, I'd like to make that. Um, boy, doing this before we put the walls up, trying to figure out where the rooms are going to be. I want to build a workbench, and I don't want to have to build it twice. I'll have to just set it down where it's going to be. So I'm thinking these two are like a front deck. Pathway across from there to here. Could do it in just one. We could bump out. Uh, that's possible. So um, let's find out what our limits are for these walls. Build. Walls are here. There. There. Right there. And a lot of variations here as well. Uh, let's rotate you around. I assume that's an outside and that's an inside. Uh, it isn't hard to stop. Okay. Little wall. Bottom half of a window wall. Half of a vertical wall. Whole vertical wall. Vertical wall with with uh, posts for a different look. It's the same amount of wood. So maybe we'll... Hello. Sun's out. Maybe we'll use that one. Um, that's the last choice, too. So that's the outside. You're not going to snap. R. Manual. Disabled. Auto. You lock there. I guess I built the bed slightly in the... W no, it's right there. It did stick. Okay. So, rotate. I can go there. And I can go there. I can go there. But I need to be able to see the next one. I wonder if I can snap to this edge. Oh, I can. Okay. It's kind of... I have the right side in and out. I don't. Um, e, e, yeah. Need to rotate that anyway. Um, but I can do it. This will be inside the house. Which could be kind of interesting. Huh. But again, there's no picking up. All I can do is destroy it. So let's build, grab you, right click, and destroy. And I could right click and destroy this guy too and put it somewhere else. Let's see what comes back. We got two longleaf cloth and five wood. To build it, it was two and five. We get everything back. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So let's place a bunch of walls now. Let's make a storage bench or a storage something. Or is something like that? B storage, storage, storage. Which symbol looks like storage? New ship. New, new, there. Make you and put you where? So I'm thinking that's going to be inside the building. So let's just set you right there. It's probably safe to say that's going to remain. All right, open. I only get we get eight spaces for this guy. Your specialized ones, I think you get a lot more. Um, drop in you and. Oh, now we're going to build with that since we get the workbench. Uh, feather, wool. Might need to hang on to that. Going to need that. Probably going to need that. Don't need those. Don't need those. And that's enough. That's enough for now. All right, so we got room down here for all of this and for all of this. All right, we're going to need a bunch more of both of those. Okay, so let's spend some time, oh, gathering. We don't need stone at this point. We need lots of wood, and we're going to need lots of leaves. And I intentionally didn't get all of the leaves last time because I didn't have room just to carry them around. But all of these little plants, let's see if I can find one, plus all of the uh, little branches there. Where is an example of one that you can just gather? We were doing that at the very beginning of last episode. Now I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Still need to really search this island anyway to see if there's anything special just hiding around in the uh, in the the shrubberies. Um, let's take care of Tab and B. 
Let's see. It's saying we got new things to look at. Until we do, it's just going to keep alerting us. Which is fine, except that it might be nice to... Um, build. To know when something new actually has popped in. So, leaf one mill from last time? Uh, yeah. That's what we found on this island. Align with the wind and connect it to machines to automate their production. And the connector that goes with it for, I guess, uh, junctions between ropes. A change in your, your angles. No, there's still another bee. What am I missing? Right there. So the leaf floater sail, inclined sail used to lift an island. All right. So now we're clear down below. If I find something new then it will let me know. All right, so finding more of those plants, I don't see any of them here. So we'll just start chopping trees. Gather you guys and two. Now the bone um, ax will, yeah, I can't talk and think. These logs will roll right off the island and you won't get access to them anymore. So I wish there was a way to aim where these things drop. That one did. But still they bounce all over. And you don't gain the benefit of those little branches when you only get the benefit of the log that you lose in the grass. Where'd it go? There were two of them. It's gone. Did it bounce somewhere? Hmm. So there is an advantage to grabbing these little branches off. Gives you two wood each time. And you don't get that back just by chopping it down. So let's hit from this side and see if I can make it fall that direction. It does seem to obey that. Okay, good. And grab you, you, and there you are. Oh, there's the other one, or is that part of this tree too? Maybe it was a really, really big tree. That is a big one. Let's watch it drop and see what it drops. You, you, third? No. Okay, so hitting from this side, though it looks like it's already been hit down there. And then I want to go and try those four all next to each other, hitting, you know, timing the boost just right. I don't know what happens other than it just chops faster. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. So those other two must have been part of a previous tree where everything just kind of vanished. So what happens? Will I chop multiple trees down? If I time my shots just right here, got all of you, and let's grab you, and that's all. Okay, so from this guy right here, let's time it right. Nope, you just get a fancy little twirl. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's get our fancy little twirl again. Woohoo! Okay, hopefully I'm not losing too many of these logs off the side of the hill here, but let's take all of these five down. Like this might have been a place to build a house. Now that you cleared it. Okay, so grab all of these. I want to build that tool that clears these out, if just to uh, get rid of the stumps. That it? That's almost it. Grab you two. Ah, we missed one. So where'd the rest of the logs go from that one? That's just one. Are these growing back? Go back and look at that again. I thought I kind of got them all. I guess I didn't. It was you and you. That's two. Where's the... There's one that flew from somewhere. Yeah, they kind of go airborne. All right, more pumpkins. What's our limit on pumpkins? I only want one stack. And what does a pumpkin do for us? You are a fur seed. Okay, more seeds. Don't know how to plant them yet. I haven't gotten that far. I haven't thought about it. You give us a maximum of six hit points for four minutes. Okay, you're six hit points. Oh, you're four hit points. Okay, you are six hit points for three minutes. These are the same. Next level. You are six for five minutes. Okay, potatoes are the best. 
So we want to grow potatoes. You want these before you go and attack one of the enemy islands. All right, so that gave us a bunch of wood. What did that actually give us? We're at 160 already. Okay, that was a good haul. Let's go build. So coming up here, and we could drop stairs in different places all around this, this island. Um, where we're going to actually steer from, I don't know. Maybe we'll take this tree down and make this level the, you know, the, the cockpit. Hmm. So, four, and let's do all these in one fell swoop. Nope, there is a limit. I'm not gaining those over there. Okay, so in three by three, was that as far as it went? Okay, so you guys are here. Let's put these walls in over here again. Um, I always go for tab instead of B for build. There, there, wall. I want this style, and I want you aimed that direction. So you're going there. Tap that one. That one. Then we're going to turn Q uh, out in here. Q, there we go and touch that wall, okay, and got to think about windows too, but I do get everything back, so let's think about windows later. I'm thinking about turning, let's see, E, yeah, like so, Q, and then Q again, there, and E, there, Nope, built you in the wrong place. Right there. No, I think that needs to end at that point. Yeah. So let's let's go see what this looks like. Instead of just having a big rectangle, I thought I'd have a little bump out in the front door, but this does feel really tight. It does. I think I need the uh, the four in there. Uh, I mean the, the the two row the two solid rows there. Hmm. Okay. Um, build anything. Right click. Boom. 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 Okay. And you were a mistake. And I think we're just gonna have a porch out here at this end. All right. So that deck has to stay. We walk up onto this one. So this is the corner here. All right, build you three and you. All right, so that's only three wide for a house. I think I want to go one wider then. I think I do. All right, so let's go back to floors. Five wide would be great. Uh, rotate E. There we go. Let's drop into you. Where am I? There we are. Okay. And let's sink that into the rock just because it makes it feel like it's stronger. It's anchored at this end, not just free floating. There are pillars. I've never dealt with them before. I think there's one more over here. Could go and let's see how does he's just a little guy so he's a little pillar okay b let's go to this guy what is what are these guys um am i sinking into the no you're just that big and that's thickness okay so light wood beam oh do you go across Use that again. Oh. If we had opposing walls, would it stretch across? You're kind of diagonal there. No, there's the rotate. I'm not sure. I don't know if it grows or not. I was looking for a post. Uh, B. Let's see here. Build. You are a log beam. I wonder if they mean post. I really wonder. No, it does rotate in the direction that you sit it on. 
Well, let's get some more walls up and we'll explore that a little bit. We're already getting dark again. Yep. Games do that to me. I talk too much and then it's already dark again. Um, I think I'm just going to end this right here. So, build wall 3 Q there. E. Alright, we'll set all these in. And we're leaving that one. So, E goes what am I missing here it's getting dark I wanted to step up on this one right yeah do we oh there's an idea do we have a diagonal floor we do or at least a flooring piece there were no diagonals of these guys, but we do have that piece there. What if we destroyed this and then put in a diagonal piece there? I don't know if I can span a wall across that, though. may have to bump this. Um, actually, this is the piece, isn't it? Okay, so tap U, and let's see, just hold right there. E a couple of times. There. So if I drop you in there, can I wall through that? Technically, no. The diagonal is longer. But what does this game do? Is there any sense of a diagonal? There probably wouldn't be. Now that I think about it. Yeah, when you auto place, it would. If, if it could do it, it would do it right now. So it doesn't do that. Okay. So I want three. I want you there. And what is that? Q? Yeah, you're there. So you're going to do that. And that still gives us the ability to walk through here easily. Yeah, we're not getting hung up on anything. All right, so we're going to come across here. And what would that be? A Q? Yep. Like so. All right, so there is our outline. Door goes where? Step back and look at this a little bit. This is a nice central area. Let's call it this one. And then window where? I almost like to go a little further out. Window there and a door there. I think so. This is the door. Build. Choose one. And delete you. Delete you. That means a window here. Don't know if there's anything on this corner or not. If this is the bedroom, then that is likely think about that. I don't want to waste too much room in the bedroom. There's not much to do there. So, make the window here. Let's go there. And let's go there. Alright. We can put more windows on the next floor if we build more. So let's go with that. And let's see. Build windows. That is in with the walls? No. It's in with the arches. Okay. Click the arch and scroll through to that point so this upper part and there is no post or pillar version of it but you can go there would that be a door boy it sure wants to be nah we'll keep us going here so you don't automate or you know, don't rotate automatically you just attach when you've got it aimed right. So, E right there. That one's a door. Alright, so door is what? Um, one, two, and three, that's right. So you are a frame. Interesting. So there's, I don't know, kind of a hobbit door, a keyhole. Nice archway. The doors will auto-fit these. There's the hobbit door. <laughs> there's a half door and there's a little more traditional one. Are there any other choices? There's just a squared off one. Let's go that guy. Lock you into there. Okay. Build door. Right there. So he fits into there. Um, no variations. So it just auto forms to whatever you've got. Okay, door is in. Now let's grab walls that are half walls. You? Yes. 
So there, one right there. You will drop in underneath. And yeah, Q, there you are. Q again. There. There. I think that's the moon coming out. And going away quite quick. So we're done here? I think so. So with that, um, escape and four. If I were to build this one, would it build all the walls for me? Keep doing it. Build the whole area. Okay, let's go as far as here. Yep, that works pretty good. Let's grab, I guess, this one. Okay, I built all of those. And you... And if I do this, can I hit that one? I don't know if I can. Nope. Alright, so did I get all these? I did. I only just discovered this. When I was playing this before, I was doing two hits on every single one of these things. And it took me quite a while. Alright, so with that, let's place the bed looking out this tiny little window. I wonder if we want to have more of a... I don't know, what are the options for this bedroom window? Build. Let's think about this. We could do a, just a big hole, but it could fall through that thing. Um, where's the keyhole? I don't see it in the... in the. Must be one more option down below all that. Hmm. I only see the hobbit hole. That one is just that. No other variations. Now... So we can't get a bigger window. Though I don't know what that square is next to the window. I don't know. Let's build that somewhere else and find out. So build you. Uh, rotate and go which way? There. So if I build you and four, is there any building involved? There's not. And I can step right through it. So, I'm not certain what you'd do with that, but you can fall out of bed this way. <laughs> so, that's probably not the answer. Hmm. Okay. Build. Get rid of you. There. Alright. So, at this point, let's put in some interior walls. I don't know what direction they would go. I'm assuming this would be fine. So, two for a bedroom. And... Rotate into there. Uh, of course, it'd be nice to remember to leave a doorway. Uh, build, and let's do a different arch than that one this time. Um, in fact, I could even do a narrow one. Never built one of those before. I'll put you there, and then put a narrow wall in. Uh, there? Yeah. Kind of tight, but it works. Kind of like too much space, I think, for a bedroom. All I know that we're going to put in here is a bed. But, yeah, it'll be fine. We can build up as far as we want. So, let's get these guys set in place. Uh, there's more to do here. No? Let's get this whole area built. Oh, we got more over here, too. Anything else that I've missed? No, it looks like we got it all now. Stuff underneath probably got missed. Alright, so you're all done. We'll walk through here. Let's build you. Okay. That is all of that. Alright, so a bed facing the window. Not much of a view, is it? Yeah. Well, let's just do it anyway. So, build, gear, bed. And... Yeah, that really would kind of look funny. Yeah, it would. Okay, so much for that idea. Let's set you... Not manual. Let's spin you around. And... Something like that. Centered with that guy. Don't know if there's going to be wall art later or anything to decorate with, but 
that kind of works. We walk in, jump in the bed, look outside, see if it's raining or not. Yeah, that works. Okay, the rest of this place. So I think this episode is going to be mostly just building this house. Probably. Next episode, maybe we'll get out there. Or at least pop off and, and discover another couple of islands and maybe find some more bones so we can build some better tools. What are you sitting here? You're just a stump. And are there any other things to find here? I don't remember. We have to search this place uh, before we go, before we move on. So you're here. I want to go upstairs at some point. Um, let's see what the stair options are. I'm thinking it's right here and with space to do something else behind it. And I'm feeling kind of jumpy, bouncy, like, like, uh, I don't know, like the video is skipping a little bit, missing, we're not losing frames, just a little bit choppy. Um, you know, a lot of optimizing to do. It's still just pre-alpha. Um, build stairs and what are our choices? No winding, turning, corner type stairs. No. Okay. Um, e, E. Going there. <clears throat> going up a floor. And railings. It's either railings or it is building a wall around it. Or both. It's the same width. It lands in the same spot down there. So that's great. All right. So from there, we want to land on a floor. So build and this guy. And direction of boards, I guess we should make it consistent. So it's the same as we've got right now. So you're going there, there, there. And let's just go see that. There we go. Yeah, that works. Any other reason to have penetrations in the floor other than here? Um, we're actually, we're going to have to have two of them. This is too low. So this space right up here is going to be empty too. Um, for that matter, <clears throat> walking in, maybe this whole section here is more of a cathedral ceiling. I don't know. Can you put a wall on top of a wall without a floor in between? Let's find out. So, build. Let's build floors here. That's going to be needed. Uh, right direction? Yeah. <clears throat> there and there. And then, can we put build wall? We're going with... Down there, we were going with the beefy ones with the posts around them. We could put a thinner wall above. What does that look like? Just to go this route now. But if that went there, yep, we can do that. So we can get a two-floor, two-story, with a cathedral ceiling here, and out to here. So rotate you. And again, I'll go back and put windows in later. And... Floors are just going to be this part over here. Find me a good anchor. There you are. Alright, so in that case, there'll be walls up on this side. Though we could window looking out over this thought that would be kind of a, a neat thing to have inside without a ceiling right up against it. So that means we do want walls here. Uh, build walls and rotate twice there. And Q. I want a wall here. Oh, didn't take. We're out of wood again. Okay. But you can get the sense of what we're building here. So this will be a regular, you know, walls all around it. And then we'll go for the roof. Um, let's go find enough trees to be able to put some roof in. And laggy, that's the word I was trying to think of and couldn't. It's feeling really laggy. So that's probably a thing soon. But let's 
Try chopping from this direction, aiming the logs that way. A tree is obviously leaning toward me. So it's either going to crush me, or we're going to save the logs. That one went down there, that one went there. Let's take you out, or do we keep you? Let's keep you. So you're there. Another one, I think, did they all go down there? From here? I don't know. There. That's where you went. And down here. Somewhere. I... There you are. Okay. I don't know if they despawn after a while. That's what I was worried about. Alright, so let's drop down into this mess. Oh! And take these guys out. Gather. What is the gather? Bones! Oh, that's good. More bones. Going to need all of these for building our our other tools and, and a bone sword. Bone sword for going after that island or the, the corrupted islands. So there are places we've not been to. We've got more coal. Is there anything else in here? Water, right? Lay down. So not water. There's water. <clears throat> and have we not been to this one? We've not been to this one. Ah. All right, what have we got? <clears throat> the leaf square sail, which opens up several different shapes of, of sails, if I remember right. Okay, so you're good there. And let's just wander around here a little bit. see the rest of this island. I want to grab more of the trees that you can just gather. Those. That's what I'm trying to find. So now that I've found the one, I see lots of them. Gather. Come on, there was an E there. There you are. And you. Okay. There's more of them around there. It's starting to rain. Alright, coming up in here. Does this lead to anything besides where we've already been. Looking for a treasure chest, looking for more bones. Yep, yeah, getting quite laggy. Hmm. There was a gather I didn't see, or didn't grab. But we are where we were chopping last time. Okay, that's where we are. So let's take you out. Uh, gather that. So gather the sticks beforehand if you can. Drop down, explode, drop you, you. The, those landed where they were supposed to. And eventually we'll be able to pull all these stumps out of here. Now these guys are most likely going to just fall right off the uh, side of the island there. Grab the pumpkins, and the branches. So maybe we'll just leave these here and use these as a branch farm. That could be... What was this? I saw those sticks inside those leaves there. That's nothing. Alright, so over here we've got something. I want to build some roof. I may finish this thing off camera. After you've seen enough of it to get a sense of how it all works. Hello. Falling and you, you, and you. Okay. A couple more trees. Sticks. There you are. Hard to hit that one. Oh, quite a storm we're in now. Okay. You kind of went this way, but I don't see you anymore. They're all gone. Where did they go? Are you in there? You're not. Gather. Ah, right there. And the other one is just gone. Gone in the storm. Okay, well, wow, that is really raining. Let's get back up here to the house and get some roof over the bedroom. Is this the right place? Well, it, it will be eventually. Wow, for a character that doesn't like rain. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's get some roof over this. So, what does that look like? It's not... got to think of the whole structure... 
There is a build roof. There is a inverted and and well, just a corner and an inverted corner for making uh, outside corners and valleys. So let's play with that guy here. Uh, rotate you a while. There you go, right there. And so that there is a smaller section of roof over here. Let's see here. This all makes sense in a little bit. So rotate like so and find the half piece right there. So how about the the tall half one? I have to, just, I have to play with this one to see how that works. Q, no, E, there. Otherwise, a full roof over here. So three and E. There you are. Full one there. And Q, no, E. There you are. And then another one of those corner pieces goes in here and fills in this void. So that creates an outside corner. Or we could have just gabled it completely, taken this guy, put it over here, and then putting a diagonal wall up there, and the whole end would be a diagonal wooden wall with just these guys on the on the two sides. So different ways to accomplish this goal here. But let's be um, corner and right there. And then just to see it built... Let's see, let's grab the out of this and four. There we go. We're going to build with leaves and logs this time. Okay, we've got all that built. And we're out of the rain. <sighs> so at that point, there is a flat roof. Or we could, you know, kick it in, put an, another set of floors and another set of walls and make a small little loft area. Actually, that sounds kind of fun. Maybe we'll make a third floor. We'd have to come around and maybe up here go up. Boy, I don't know how to do that. I almost need five wide to pull that off. We'll see when we get there. Um, but we can run this whole side. We need to wall this whole side, don't we? Yeah, we didn't finish this. We ran out of wood. That's right. How much wood we have now? Only 57. So let's do you know, this side and get it far enough. Where am I at on this episode? We're over 50 minutes already. Wow. Um, wood. Wall. That variant. And right there. Like so. E over. And... Does this become a little second floor deck? Yeah, we could do something like that. You're there. You're an archway. And E again. And again, we'll pop these out and put windows in as they seem appropriate later. But with that, we can go back to build and roofs and put a bunch of these in. So, rotate you around a bit there. We'll make another corner there. So this one goes this way. And... Can't really roof over our deck. Yeah, maybe we build a gable at this end. That's kind of interesting. Let's pull you out of there, put you back into here, and do another one right there. We'll gable this end. So that means we're going to put in a wood diagonal here. Uh, let's see. E right there and then a full wall right here like so and if it was daytime you'd be able to see that so let's just make that happen real quick and why does this bed look wider did I just build a double bed and not realize it and where's the rest of me <laughs> what is that <laughs> um, it does look wider. I think, let's see here. Um, build. No. Build you. One and three. There's no difference in size. It just feels wider than the one that we built the first time. But we can see this during the daytime now. 
So we can come up here, and this could be, with gables coming this direction, a third floor that is too wide. I just don't know how to get the stairs into that and not have the double wide opening cut off the entire thing. Unless we do it right here. I don't know if you can. Wow, fog came in. I guess we're moving through a cloud or something. Let's try one more thing here. Build stairs and rotate around and go for the taller ones. If I put you here, can I clear that roof? I can. So we could put a landing right here. Build you here, and that is the direction the boards are going. For that matter, we can put one there, and can we go there? Can I get under? I can. So that goes there. So yeah, we could get into a narrow space over the top of all this. That maybe stops right here at this point and looks down over all that. Yeah, cool. So, a lot of a lot of flexibility in building in this game. Again, it's it's still just pre-alpha. Look how far they've gone. Um, how about some half walls? There's there's no. I was gonna say there's no railings, but there are railings. Um, build. If we don't finish building it, it kind of looks like a railing, doesn't it? Uh, wall. And let's see here. One. Drop to this guy, and turn you around. If we were to do this and not finish it. Yeah, we got railings. And the stairs come up here. So I guess let's rail off this one. And maybe to there and stop? Maybe. Um, nope, let's just do the one. So let's see here. And these stairs it might be nice to do something a little different too let's do that and do that and put in the railing stairs you're gonna be let's see auto there you are and right there hey that looks pretty good yeah that's that's coming together so great big house right there mm-hmm otherwise we've wandered the rest of the island I don't think there's anything else to find. I've got a laggy game right now, so I'm hesitant to spend too much more time before it inevitably crashes or something. Um, is there anything else around? This kind of takes you around the outside. I think that just gives you a stone, whereas these guys with the, the blue at night gives you the chance of a windstone. Anything in the water that I've not really paid attention to? No. Okay. I don't know how to make a torch yet. You'd think it'd just be a stick and coal, but that doesn't give us a recipe for that. I may go through and gather a whole bunch more materials, uh, finish off the walls of the house, put some storage spaces in. You're a little different. And so I can build up a few extra materials and ready to, to build what we need to build. While, rather than doing this all on camera and getting everybody thoroughly nauseous. <laughs> so, let's see here. Let's get up a little higher. Now, is this is still the island that has the campfire. And the growing beds. I just have to remember where that is. From the house... I want to say it's off in that direction over there. There it is. So I need to take down a lot of trees, get rid of a lot of boulders, make things easier to walk around. But this just seems like a great place to begin and end episodes. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to call this one done. And uh, just keep in mind, I recorded episodes one and two at the same time. So whatever comments you put in episode one, I haven't been able to answer yet. So other than that, thanks for watching, folks, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.